Channel's not any good, but he's a nice guy. I'm sorry, Mr. Bolton. I'm sorry about that. No. This is where I put the guests who don't want to sleep with me. But it's also my little workspace. And as we can see, the sat nav is now fully updated. This is also the area where I'm working on creating the world's first car dating website, Mustard and Boaties Motor Match. And you would be surprised just how difficult it is to do. Or maybe you wouldn't be. Right then, let's get the sat nav and the camera mounts and whatnot all set up in Sir Arnold Robinson. Now here's a job that's needed doing. There we go. Isn't it nice in here? Just nice. Remember this that arrived yesterday? I'm hoping the extra length will make all the difference. I bought this from eBay. It was only a couple of quid, but a couple of quid, not very well spent, because it's absolute crap. Cheap, well, you, you can guess what country it came from. Cheap, worthless crap. So I need a proper, decent double one of those. In the meantime, I'll have to make do with the single Tom Tom. Yeah, that's about the spot. Now, to tidy up the wire, it's time to deploy my small poking device. Make your own jokes. Well, by my standards, that's not a bad job. Now then, time to fit the first camera mount. There we go, and I think that's about right. And the sat nav is working. Oh, and I've come up with a title for this car. It's going to be the Company Commuter. Now, if it's got a title, it becomes official and therefore Mustard can't make me sell it. Okay, I've got an issue with the power lead for the Tom Tom. Um, it powers up and then it kind of just powers down a bit. I think um, I think the USB is a dodgy fit. In other words, it's a bloody piece of mail order crap that doesn't work like it should, and that really annoys me because there's all the faff of trying to sort it out and send it back and whatnot. Um, at first I thought it was because the Tom Tom thing was power adapter was uh, too proud and it was knocking the back of the gear lever but I've swapped it for this one that sits you see that one sits more flush and it's still playing up you can see that it's it's just powered up 
and in theory it's um it's a constant live so that should stay on stay powered unless the problem was that the battery was just um absolutely dead flat on the tom tom but i've had an issue with cables before so i fear the worst and it'll be really annoying if that happens after i've gone to the trouble of plumbing it in with my little poker anyway we'll see how that goes um we've done that one so time to fit the second camera mount and the best place that i've found for it i'd love to put it on the back window actually but it's a bit kind of too far out of reach it needs to be within reach so the best place i've found for it is up there somewhere let's have a look okay well the sat now seems to be staying on although it's obviously not perfect but we might get away with that and there is the position of the second mount um, might need to fiddle a bit with that but uh, i'll try that for the first run and then the final little touch is this rather splendid chap here that clips onto the sun visor now he's uh, hands-free for the phone which uh, is pretty essential in uh, in this day and age bluetooth hands-free but he's also an fm transmitter so you know the kind of thing you um uh, you put a, a spare frequency into it uh, and the radio then picks it up and of course it's connected to your phone so basically what all of that means is that I can listen to my favourite podcasts on the move which is a definite bonus in this car because the CD player doesn't work on the stereo the radio is fine CD player doesn't work so this gives me uh, an additional option, which is splendid. Although I must say that um, these days I tend not to listen to the radio and CD so much um, because filming uh, and obviously copyright. So that's one of the things that has changed since I entered this strange YouTube world sat nav is still working so that's great and we're pretty much done uh the other things to do to this car i need to fit one of my uh, emergency kits somewhere inside or in the boot just in case of some sort of emergency i like to have some essentials so a packet of cigarettes lighter bottle of wine that sort of thing but otherwise we are all set to go tomorrow in the company commuter. So, I will catch you at some point tomorrow. Enjoy your Sunday and have a great evening.